Hey, I'm Brian Goulet of GouletPens.com, and today I want to talk to you about Lamy rollerballs. Now, normally I don't talk about rollerballs very much. I am like a fountain pen guy through and through. So I feel like I have to have a little bit of a disclaimer here because I know the fountain pen purists are going to be like, Brian, this is blasphemy. Why are you even considering a rollerball? Okay, so let me just kind of explain myself. Um, originally, when the Goulet Pen Company started out, I was actually making pens and they were all rollerballs. They had ballpoint refills that would come in these kits for these pens that I would turn out of wood and stuff like that. But I hated the ballpoints. I have always been against ballpoints. But I discovered gel rollerball pens, and that for me was the original enhanced writing experience. Once I discovered fountain pens, rollerballs was like, you know, old news, and fountain pens really opened up my world. However, rollerballs have always had a kind of soft spot in my heart because it was originally kind of the gateway for me, what led me to discover fountain pens. And I think that's a lot of the way that it is for you and other people out there too. So for me, fountain pens are the ultimate, but rollerballs are a nice step in the right direction for people that have never discovered fountain pens before. Not to mention there are some circumstances where a fountain pen is not always the best tool. Some things like when you're writing on carbon copy forms and receipts at restaurants and stuff like that, rollerballs just tend to work a little bit better. So there are plenty of fountain pen you know, fanatics, enthusiasts, if you will, who still use rollerballs from time to time. So it can also work in that kind of instance as well. And for me personally, I've tried to convert all my family members over to fountain pens, as you can well imagine, but it doesn't always take. So I still go to rollerballs when I'm giving out gifts to friends and family and things like that, who I still want to encourage them to write, but I haven't quite gotten them to convert over to fountain pens yet. So that is my story and I'm sticking to it. So here's the spread of all of the Lamy, Safari, Vista, and All-Star rollerballs that we're gonna be carrying at GouletPens.com. Starting from left to right, I have the Vista here, which is the clear one. I have pink, red, blue, yellow, charcoal, shiny black, and white in the Safari colors. And then in the All-Star, I have graphite, ocean blue, which is the best, purple, blue green, and black, which black was previously a seasonal special edition that's now coming back to the regular line. As of the shooting of this video, it's still like a week or two out, but it'll be here for posterity to stay. And then there's one more missing at the end, which is copper orange, which is the 2015 special edition. That one's coming soon, literally like any day as of the shooting of this video. The Safari in the Vista is $25.60, about $4 cheaper than its fountain pen counterpart. And the All Star is about $4 cheaper than its counterpart at $33.60. And that comes with the refill included. You don't need to worry about getting converters or any of that kind of stuff. Pen comes inked up and ready to go. Now you can get replacement refills for the Lamy roller balls. The same refill fits all of these pens. It's called the M63 refill and it's a Goliath. It'll last for a really long time. If you're using this exclusively as your one pen, I can't say exactly how long it's gonna last, at least a month or two, but probably a lot longer if you're gonna be switching out between a lot of different pens. I think with roller balls, you tend to maybe not use one pen quite as much as you would like a fountain pen, for example. But when you get a little bit nicer roller ball pen like these, you tend to kind of use it more than you would say just like your typical disposable one. So there's four different color options for the roller ball. There's black, blue, red, and green. The black is what comes in all of the roller balls as they come from the Lamy factory, with the exception of the white Safari, which for some reason comes with a blue one. So to give you some idea of the colors that you're looking at with the roller ball refills, you don't really get a choice as to which green or red or whatever, it's kind of what it is. But I pulled all the Lamy fountain pen ink swabs to give you somewhat of a comparison. The black is a deep saturated black, really like it. It's a little bit darker than the Lamy black fountain pen ink, probably a little closer to like a Noodler's black. The roller ball blue is a little darker than Lamy blue, maybe not quite a blue black, but more like a darker royal blue. The red is pretty dead on as to the Lamy red fountain pen ink. It's really kind of a pinky red, but very vibrant. And the last one is the green, which is a little bit less yellow to it than the fountain pen ink of the Lamy green, kind of more of a seafoam type color. 
If you want to purchase these refills separately, they are $5 at GoulayPens.com. Replacing a refill on a Lamy Rollerball is really easy. You just take the cap off and you have your grip section here and your body. The uns it unscrews between the grip and the body and then the refill just comes out like that. There's no spring or anything like that to worry about in the pen. It just goes right in there and then when you screw it in place, it holds it down firmly and you're good to go. There's some very slight differences between the Lamy All-Star and Safari fountain pen and roller balls. Overall, the pens look really, really similar. The dimensions and everything, the design is very similar. There's just a couple of subtle differences. The first one is the weight. The roller ball, because that refill is made of metal, it's a little bit heavier. It's about two grams heavier. The Safari is normally about 17 grams in the fountain pen version, but it's with a converter. But if you do it um, with the roller ball, it's going to be about 19 grams. And then the All-Star in the fountain pen is normally about 21 grams. It's gonna be about 23 for the roller ball. It's not a really noticeable difference between the two, but it's worth pointing out. If you look at the top, it has these finials in the top of the cap. On the fountain pen version, it has an X or a cross. And on the roller ball version, it just has a slash. So that if you have it in your backpack or your pen case or whatever, and you're just glancing at the top, even if you have the same color pen in both versions, you can at a glance see which one you're grabbing. And then if you actually open up the pen, you can see that the grip section, which Lamy is pretty famously known for, has a triangular shape to it. And in the fountain pen version, it has two indentations that give it kind of that triangular shape. So it's actually not really a triangle. It has two flat parts and then the whole bottom is round. And that's to kind of force you to hold the fountain pen in this very specific way so that the nib is in the proper orientation when you write. But with the rollerball one, you don't really have to worry about that. So it actually has three indentations so that no matter which orientation you're holding the pen, you'll be able to write with it comfortably. And then a couple other subtle differences to really tell the difference is that in the fountain pen version, there is an ink window so that you can see your ink level, but it does not have that in the rollerball version. It's just a plain barrel. One of the things that excited me about these pens was that I had read online that you could actually take the body from the rollerball pen, which does not have an ink window, and you could swap it onto the fountain pen so that you could convert it to an eyedropper filling pen. However, there's a couple of drawbacks. The first one being that the body for the fountain pen does not fit onto the roller ball because the back of the refill is thicker than the back of a converter. So you can't actually do an even swap between the two. So you basically have to buy the whole roller ball pen just to be able to get the body to put on the fountain pen. But more importantly, the thing that I found is when you actually go to eyedropper convert it, it leaks because there's a hole in the bottom of this thing. So in order to be able to do that, let me wipe up my desk here. In order to actually be able to do it, you would need to put some kind of epoxy or some other kind of glue or adhesive to fill that to actually plug up that hole, which is not going to be the most visually appealing thing. And it's a bit of a hack job. So yes, it can be done, but it's probably not something that I would recommend that most of you try. So actually taking the pens and writing with it, it's a very smooth writing experience. I really like the feel of these M63s. The same refill is used on all of these Lamy pens. So what I did is I took this refill and I wrote with it with a couple of different pens. I thought that comparing it to the Lamy fountain pen nibs would be pretty relevant. So I inked up uh, Lamy Steel Extra Fine and a Lamy Steel Fine with Noodler's Black, which is kind of just my go-to black ink that I use all the time. And I think that the M63 refill is closest to a fine nib. So if you're used to using a Lamy fine nib, that's going to be about the line width that you can expect in any of these Lamy rollerball pens. Now, some of that's gonna vary based on the ink, based on the paper you're using and stuff like that. You're not gonna have nearly as much variation in your line with all of those factors such as paper with the rollerball pen. It's a paste gel ink instead of uh, a liquid ink like you would have in a fountain pen. So you're not gonna have as many issues with feathering and spreading and stuff like that on cheaper papers, which is part of why people like rollerballs. And then to give you something, another comparable rollerball, one that I have a lot of um, 
you know, experience with is the Pilot G2. I know that's a pretty popular rollerball for a lot of you. Um, so I, I used the 0.38 millimeter, which is really kind of an extra fine, and then I used the 0.7 millimeter, which is more like a medium size. And I found the M63 to be thicker than both of those. It's, um, I also have used in the past a 1.0 millimeter G2, and that one is probably more comparable to what this M63 will be. Even though I have, don't have a writing sample of it here, I think that's more what an accurate comparison would be. So that is a nice introduction into the Lamy rollerballs. If you want to learn more, you can check out gouletpens.com for more pictures and specific dimensions. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave comments on YouTube or on the blog. And if you would like to get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching, and right on.